raise your hand if you would like to make Australia great again. <laughs> raise your hand if you'd like to ban immigration. This is the kind of rhetoric that we're facing here in Australia, and I don't think this is okay. I'm Usman, I'm from Catalyzer. I have come here to Australia as a refugee. I did my bachelor in Pakistan in mechanical engineering. I came here, I did a master's. Um, I was top of class, but couldn't find work. I tried for two years, but couldn't find anything until I enrolled into a PhD and started teaching people. And then from there onwards, I did a lot of volunteering jobs and tried to just get into the job market, but there was nothing. It was really hard for me to get into my industry. Um, and then when I thought about it, the problem wasn't just me. It was a much bigger problem that exists in Australia. The problem is that people who come here as a migrant or a refugee, uh, they have a lot of barriers, cultural language network, so they can't find work in the industry. And I did some research and found out that just in the last year, about 200,000 people came here as a migrant or refugee, and 65% of them, 65%, couldn't find work in the industry. Now that's 130,000 people who are underutilized. Um, they're driving Ubers, they're doing a lot of these things, uh, but they're not really um, using all their skills, and that leads to a lot of um, adverse outcomes. So what I did was I said, okay, I should definitely do something about this. I should try and find out a solution. So for us, that solution is Catalyzer. Catalyzer is a startup incubator that helps migrants and refugees to start their own businesses in Australia. We're local, we're based in Parramatta, and what we do is we take people in, help them through entrepreneurial workshops, through mentoring, through putting them in touch with the right people so they can get network, uh, the network support, the funding, and everything they need to succeed. Now, obviously, you can say, you know, this is a great big idea that you have, but what, what do you have to show for it? So we've launched about four months ago. Um, we did our pilot program. Um, and we worked with the Community Migrant Resource Centre, we got some funding from the Office of Small Business Commissioner in New South Wales. They were very, very generous in supporting us uh, with 10K to begin with. Uh, we took in 10 people who then went to the program and two of them have launched. Now, I don't have any material or anything with me, just because Kushi Corner, who've been serving you food, went to that program. So they have done an amazing job in just the last two months. They've been in all the markets, they've been getting all these catering gigs just because um, they're really passionate and they really want to do something. So I'll quickly share Valit's story, who's um, the founder of Cushy Corner. So Valit came in as a marine engineer a year ago. Um, he couldn't find work either. He was basically building submarines in Egypt for five years, uh, but there was nothing for him here. And most of the issue was because of language and about network. So we worked with him um, and other partners worked with him as well to make sure that he could start his own thing. And then he started Cushy Corner and you've all tasted it and I'm sure you can tell how amazing it is. So raise your hand if you like the food that Valid has provided to you tonight. And give him a big clap, I would say. <laughs> so we think that this is just the beginning. We're definitely not done. Um, the reason why we're here is we want to do a crowdfunding campaign and bring all of you together. Um, and so to hear your voice and also to get your support to build the new Parramatta, to build uh, the next great city in Australia. Now, how do we do this? What we're trying to do is we've already done a pilot program and we know that it works. We know that migrants and refugees are enterprising and can do amazing work. Now, the next thing we want to do is um, get people, um, get, get your support and get the money to be able to run another program um, starting in December. We already have 30 applications, and we, what we want to do is put 10 more exceptional individuals through the program so that they can launch their businesses. Uh, but this time, we've got a bit of a, an extra thing that we want to do, so we want to validate our business model. As a social enterprise, the way we want to work is we want to do microfinance. So my co-founder, Jake, he worked with Muhammad Yunus in Bangladesh on social business and microfinance and he's amazing at figuring out how we can work with some of these complex challenges um, and make them financially sustainable. So the way we want to do it, and this is the first time ever that anyone's doing this in the incubator space in Australia, is that people go through the program for free and then they start paying back uh, up till the cost of the program, which is 10K per person. Um, and that's very similar to the HEX model that we all used to here. 
So we're going to trial that out, but we need your money and we need your support. So if you know someone who's interested to help us with mentoring, to help us with funding, we'd really, really appreciate that. Our goal is $10,000, which will help us run the next program. Um, and I can't stress enough how important it is that we all work together to really alleviate this problem. Because in the long run, it's not just the economic impact, it's also the social impact. So there's um, countering xenophobia and getting more diverse people into the space. So we already have um, what I think, that if you have more diverse employers, we can have more diverse employees. And we're going to change this rhetoric around migrants and refugees in Australia and say that, no, it's not just what you see in the TV and in the media. It's also what you experience. It's also what you can do. And it's all about human potential. So by taking all that in, what I want you to do now is reach under your chair. And some of you have a letter. Not everyone, some of you. And just share the letter with the person next to you when you open it. I'll give you a couple of seconds to open. So we are Catalyzer, and we would like to invite you to join us in the revolution. Thank you.